All right, y'all. Welcome back. While we're going to tie today, uh, it's another one of those easy to tie proven patterns. Uh, we're going to tie Graham's Bloodworm. Uh, it's very effective fly. I'm going to tie it in a variety of sizes. What's in the vase tonight? This is a size eight and a worm hook. I'm going to tie this all the way down to an 18 3 XL. We're going to come in, start our thread right behind the hook eye thread that we're tying with tonight. This is a, a uni thread in 70 denier red of course give us a good base started come back up to the tying point get rid of that tag come in with a piece of medium ultra wire in gold and catch that right across the top and try to keep that on the top all the way back so help build a nice smooth body and we're gonna run this deep into the bend Then once again, back up. And at this point, we're gonna come in um, using tonight four strand Raylon floss by Danville. I like to get that in just a little damp. Makes it easier to come in and set that stuff. Don't worry if you pull one out. You just come in and catch it. Work our way back up the hook. Put a quick whip in it so we don't lose our work. Take our floss. Now we're going to start working our way up. Nice touch and turns. You can tie this with a bead if you want. The original pattern wasn't tied with the bead, so we figured I wouldn't tie it with a bead tonight. I do tie it with a bead and fish it profession uh, deeper, but we'll stick to the original tonight. And we're going to come in with our rib. Nice spiraling turns. There's no turn count on this. Just keep the turns pretty even. Helicopter that wire out. Nice clean break. Now we're going to counter clockwise spin our thread. Let your thread open up so we can cover that tag end of that wire. There we go. Come in with a whip. One more to be safe. Trim this piece out. And we're going to come in with a black marker. We're going to count up one, two, three, about your third segment. Put a black dot in there. 
like that. Now, tricky part. We're gonna take this out of our vase. Hold it with a heckle plier. And what I got in this bowl right here is just regular acetone. We're gonna give this fly a quick dip. Leave it in there for a few seconds. I'm gonna pull that stuff back out. Put her back in. Now that that's dried, we're gonna come in with some UV resin. much make sure it gets a good coat in all your low spots what the acetone does to that floss is it makes it uh, kind of translucent you'll get the finish effect here in just a second and you'll be able to see you can see that that dot bled through a little bit too uh, which works out pretty good so we're going to come in and set this And that's Graham's Bloodworm. Uh, tie them up, try them out. Uh, they'll definitely take fish for you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If anything you guys ever want to see, just leave it in the comments below and we'll tie it up for you. Go check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, don't forget, if you've not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to uh, our channel right now. Uh, we got a giveaway coming up here in the next couple weeks. Uh, we're still trying to decide what we're going to do. Uh, but the only way you can... Um, be enrolled into uh, be the winner of that giveaway is you have to be subscribed to either our Facebook page, our Instagram, or our YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, and until next time.